when I was a kid, I played baseball. And I used to love to play baseball, but I was never a really good hitter. I was an average hitter at best. And when I think back about it, I think the reason I was never a really great hitter is because I was always so scared of striking out. I was so scared of striking out that I think it blurred my vision because all I really wanted to do was put the bat on the ball. And if I hit the ball, even if I got out, I was happy, I felt relieved because I was so afraid to fail, to strike out. And I think that held me back from being a great hitter because I always used to hear people say, the really good hitters, they'd say, you could, they could just see everything about the ball when it was coming to them, it was just so clear. And I never had that feeling. But I remember one time, one time, it's so crazy after all these years, I was like 12 years old. This day sticks out in my mind. We were playing this team. I don't remember the name of the team, but I remember the pitcher. The pitcher, and some of you guys would have known him, his name was Clifford Chukale. This guy was such a good pitcher. I was scared to death to bat against Clifford. And he was pitching this day, and for some reason, I don't know what happened differently this day, but for like the one time in my life, I remember batting against Clifford, and he threw this pitch, and to this day, I can still see the ball. I saw it so clearly. I could see the laces coming at me slowly, like it was in slow motion. I was like in this super flow state. And I could see that ball coming in and it was so clear. And I put that bat on the ball and launched it out into center field, just a line drive, base hit into center field. It's the only time in my life I can remember seeing the ball so clearly and it's so crazy i was 12 years old but as i look back all these years i've always thought about that because it's such a vivid image in my mind and i think that i saw that ball so clearly that day because i just wasn't even afraid of striking out because he was such a good pitcher i just assumed i'm probably going to strike out i'm not even that stressed out about it and i just relaxed and I saw the ball so well. And I could never translate that in baseball ever again. But as I look back after all these years, I can see how the fear of failure clouds your vision, allows you to not truly see what you need to see to succeed. So if you can relate to a story like that or understand what I'm thinking about, as we live our lives nowadays, I think the key is to get over that fear of failure. Failure is just another way that we learn how to succeed. It's part of life. And so that's what I try to translate now into everything I do in life, to try to see things clearly and not allow my focus to be disrupted because of fear. That's how we mow, yo. Everywhere we go.